right guys, how's it going today? So yeah, it's dark out. I had to walk back to the house, plug in my cord, so I could have power in my shop. Uh, yeah. Get foggy again. It was foggy. Holy fuck, it's ever foggy this morning. Didn't hit the roads until about 10.30. Time I got close to where the bank's at. Ah, uh, you couldn't... Visibility was down to like half a mile. But yeah. It was supposed to be kind of warm today, but I think it was warmer yesterday. But uh, yeah, so... You can read the damn title, you'll see. This is another review. Um, this is probably the last thing I'm going to buy for a while. Because um, I've been eyeing this for a while. And uh, this chest, that's from Police Security, again. I was going to buy this on their website. But when all said and done... You're paying like $68. I got this at my local store for like $50. So before you think about buying something from their website, go look around like on eBay or you know, at your local store. You might get a better deal on it. I also went to the hardware and picked up, uh, I need some rubber kind of like tape for uh, connections. Because I plan on putting that TV up, you know, or that TV antenna. Um, this spring, hopefully. So I want to waterproof the connections. But they didn't have the black stuff. They had some other kind of a clear, but whatever. Uh, I wanted to get more fuel for the saw. I ended up getting some, but it's not the correct kind of stuff. It says that the chainsaws can run it. What my saw likes is the 50 to 1 mix ratio. I got the 40 to 1. So... I don't know if my saw will run it or not, and if it does, it might be a little, little choochy, but whatever. It's just there for emergencies. It's not there to, you know, cut a whole wax shit pile of trees or anything like that. I think I'm just going to maybe try to see if I can find some stuff online. Because sometimes it seems like sometimes the hardware's here don't have it in stock. So, yeah. So, we bought this big bad boy. This is the biggest, so far, this, this, well, this is the biggest flashlight that police security makes. Now, if you read the, uh, the, you know, the specs on it, there's an 1800 lumens, um, which is a high setting, a medium setting of 550, and then the low is 250. Two, uh, 250 lumens, it'll last seven hours, Distance is 100 meters. I wish they would say feet instead of meters. Because I'd have to go into my phone calculator to even figure that out. Um, and 550 lumens, it'll last at, It'll last for 3 hours and go 200 meters. At 1800 lumens, <clears throat> it'll last for 2 hours and 15 minutes and go 300, 300 meters. So... And yes, if you actually do do this, right here, once you read that, you can, you know, do that, okay? I did it with the other um, thing, the other light that I bought for them. Um, but all you, what I got with that last light was another set of batteries. Um, and, which is fine, but the problem is that it takes a while to get them. I think I must have waited almost a month. They, I think they said like two to four weeks or something like that. I can't remember, but it was a while. But it was it's, it was no big deal, you know, because I didn't need batteries right then and there anyway, because I had plenty of my own. So I'm going to do the same thing with this free batteries. All you have to do is just, uh, you know, I guess basically tell them where you got the light, where you heard about them, you know, where did you hear about them, you know, give them your name and stuff like that, and then your address. And they'll send you some batteries. And they sent me four. That's what that light requires anyways, four. This son bitch requires nine double A's. I think they should have went over to something bigger, like um, those big C batteries, I think they think they are. 
you know, instead of nine double A's, um, just get two big C batteries, you know, something like that, you know, all those big monster batteries. Um, you know, I, I, I would have I been okay with that. But I'm okay with this too. Um, I know you guys are going to be like, well, that's not the biggest, baddest flashlight in the world. Well, from police security, it is. I don't know who else, who makes brighter flashlights. There are brighter spotlights. Which is kind of the reason why I bought this. I was going to kind of use this as a spotlight. Um, because that's what I kind of need. So, I don't really need anything else. Uh, but yeah, and on, it also has, I didn't forgot to look here, it has a flash, which, you know, besides the high and low, it has a flash, which is, you know, again, that, um, like if somebody's going to try to attack you, you can basically make them stop because you're blinding them with the bright, flashy light. And then you have the SOS light, you know, which means come save us, you know, that's a slower flash. So, and it also has the slide focus, focus beam, you know, there's, there's that stupid thing. Um, so there it is. Um, I actually thought it was bigger. I don't know why. It just seemed like it was so much bigger than when I looked at it the last time. It's like these things have shrunk. <laughs> but when you look at the pictures on their website, it looks just like this. So, come on, where's the damn pocket? So, there. So it's supposed to have a slide focus, and it does, which is great. And I reckon this is probably where the batteries go in here. It's not coming off, but well, I guess it is coming off. It's even got a waterproof. Uh, ring around it you know so it's waterproof yeah see this is where they could have gotten away with from doing that because I think they make big batteries that size and they could I think they could have gotten away with that you know or even maybe just make the flashlights a little bit bigger than to accept bigger batteries um, you know I would have I think I would have been okay if this part of the flashlight was big like this you know so but I'm okay with it it'll work like I said this is just gonna be it's not gonna be really my they call this you know like you have to if you want to find this flashlight you have to go on their website and you have to go under the uh, daily carry section and this is where you'll find that so now when I turn this on, there's an on-off switch here on the back, right here, there's a little rubber thing. If you, the first time you turn it on, that should be, right there, that should be 1500 lumens. That should be your 500 lumens. That's your 250 lumens, I believe it was. And then you have, I'm going to make you sick, flash, and then the SOS. Okay, so this is your uh, yeah that that you're looking right at eight eight eighteen hundred lumens right there, and then slide focus. That's that's pretty good. So I'll I'm gonna ah not sure how good the batteries are in this thing because honestly the whole time it's been when I every time I would go to this. The store, I kind of play with it, you know. So I imagine the batteries are probably a little bit weak in this thing. But yeah, I'll take you guys and let you guys look around here. Okay, so we're 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 on the eighteen hundred lumens. Okay, and yes, this is an LED light. It's not incandescent or whatever, or a cheap light bulb. It's LED. Everything's going over to LEDs now, which is great. Okay. So, yeah. My security light come on. So you look over here. She's dead. Or it's black. And then boom. 
It's just like having a super bright LED headlight in your eyes. Look at that. They won't even focus. Come on, focus. Focus. I guess it's blinded by the light, even though it's not looking into the damn light. I don't know why. Hey, focus. There we go. Alright. So you see how it lights up that school bus over there? Okay, well, we're backing down. Uh, yeah, I think the building's the best bet. Now we're going to back it down to 500. And, was it 550? Okay, so that's your 550. Not as bright, but that's still... Honestly, that's still good. Like, I'd be happy with that. Okay, and then we should be at the 250. You can't... It doesn't really light up the building. It still does, but not on the camera. The camera's never going to really do justice. Even You're never going to really know unless you actually buy one of these. Okay, and then we'll have the... Uh, I'm going to kill your light. Don't like that. And then the save my soul. <laughs> okay. And then we'll be back to the 1800 lumen. But I'm going to uh, I'll see if I can do it one handed. I'm going to see if I can. Come on. This is maxed out already. I guess it is. I'm, I'm turning the uh, spot, or turning it into a. Um, I pulled the head out. That focuses the light more into like a beam pattern instead of a spot. Now this is going to be 1800, 1800 lumens. And you see that it focuses it more now. Um, you know, it, you can still see that it looks like a square or a diamond, you know. So it focuses the light. It lights up the tree across the road. It lights up that one pretty good. It lights up that trailer really good. It lights up that, that that's my old sister's house over there it lights up the garage really good that looks like a cat or something oh that's deer i can see deer out there it lights up that house really really good it lights up those trees across the road you can't probably can't see that and my house so Let's see. Lights up the school bus really good. Need to actually plow here. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, the, the, and this is zoomed in all the way. This is max zoomage, or you know, for focus wise. Okay. And you can even see the beam into the sky. Now. This would be good if you were trying to get a hold of an airplane. Let's say I'm stranded on a desert and I happen to have this light. And I happen to see an airplane go over. I can just aim it up, zoom it in, and then turn it on the SOS. You know, and then you could get the plane's um, attention. But yeah, I'm trying not to piss off the neighbors too much. It's just there's nobody living in this house, but there is a cross over there. There's nobody living in that house. But you can almost see it. It looks better on the camera in the eye, though. It's actually lighting up that garage over there. But you're not seeing it on the camera. But you are seeing that tree being lit up. So, I don't know what the what the meters are, like how far it goes. But you guys can... I'll, I'll put it in the description if I get my calculator to work on my phone. Um, yeah. But your mother saw that. Now it looks blue now. See how it looks blue? But it ain't. It's clear. It's LED. It just looks blue on the camera because the camera is stupid and doesn't know how to, you know, process that kind of light. But that's very impressive. Right there. And then I'm going to push the zoomage in and so it. Throws the light out all over. Look at that. That's awesome. I mean, it's, it's a wide viewing light. Like, honestly, guys, I think this is probably, in my opinion, it's probably the best flashlight you can get. Now, there probably are better ones out there, but I haven't seen them yet. 
If anyone has seen them, I I, I want to know about it. If there's anything brighter than 1800 lumens, I want to hear about it. So, yeah. Okay, so my my camera hand's cold. So that is the uh, what do they call this? This was actually called. Um, yeah, it's a queer. It's a. Uh, it's this kind of LED light right here. Right there. Thought they called this the Elite, but I don't. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Right there. That's the Elite, I guess they call it. Um, lab tested. Max distance is 300 meters. Lifetime at 1800 lumens is two and a half, you know, like two hours and 15 minutes. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't really know what else to say about it. Of course, it says it's made in China, but I don't know if the flashlight's actually made in China. I think the packaging's made in China. I don't know. Because this is, this is too good to be Chinese lighting. But I guess if it is, it is. But... Oh, come here. Come here. Yeah. So, this is just that security thing, obviously, so you can't steal it. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, the only one one down downfall is that it takes nine double A's. Um, so this is going to get more used, like I said, as you know, a flashlight. Obviously, you're going to use it as a flashlight, but the purposes of me getting it, one, if we walk around town. You know, I like to carry a light with me of some kind. Even though my phone has a light on it, it's not as good as a flashlight light. And if you need to distract them, you know, or piss them off or whatever you got to do, that doesn't have it. This does. Of course, you can get smaller flashlights that have that too. But um, 1800 lumens. You're, I mean, you're you're going to, you're going to be blinded. Okay, so never looking, never look into these LED lights. Okay, because you, you're going to go blind. And if you're going to recover from that, who knows? Because it's nothing to play with. This is not, this really isn't a toy. Um, so, but like I said, the one reason is to carry it when I go around, walk around town. Obviously, we're not going to do it now because it's wintertime. But in the summertime, we like to for our evening walks. And we like to do it when the sun's <clears throat> basically down. Kind of. So, and then I'm going to use it as a spotlight. Because um, when we, when I go out in the field, because we get a lot of, you know, we used to get a lot of trespassers and, you know, it'll still happen, I'm sure. But you may just get illegal hunters. They may just come out of state. You never know. And I want to be able to see them from a distance. Now, my old light, or the new, the other headlamp that I bought, that was only 615 lumens, I think, on high. And with that zoomed in like this, it made it, it's kind of hard to explain because you guys ain't seeing it, but from the top of the dike, well, for my regular subscribers, you know what I'm talking about. From the top of the dike, pointing to the bridge... Um, it just barely makes it. It doesn't light the bridge up, but it would reflect off headlights, taillights, that kind of thing. So then you would know automatically, hey, there's a car down here and it shouldn't be down there. This is going to give me a better advantage to that. I can see a little bit better. I might even be able to see the car for all the hell I know. I don't know. But, um, you know, that's, that's just another thing I bought it for. It's just going to be a spotlight. And it's going to be, a, you know, a daily... Well, it's not going to be like a daily carry, but it'll be for when we go walking. This thing's a little bit too big to, you know... I don't know if you're going to really be able to shove this in your pocket and walk around comfortable with it, you know. So, and it, 
The one thing that I wish it would have come with, but it didn't, but I guess I, I don't really use them anyway, would have been maybe some kind of a belt clip or some kind of a rope, you know, that you can kind of hang it off of something, you know. You know, or a place that you could put a rope, even if it just had like a notch in it. Because then I would put, you know, something on it and I could just hook it to my belt clip and then they can just hang there, right? So, but other than that, I, I think it's a good light. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. So that's kind of the size of it when it's, uh, you know, when the head's zoomed out like this. You push it in, it's going to get a little bit smaller. But, yeah. I was really pleased with um, the police security headlamp that I bought from them. Now, they do have one bigger than what I have, but I don't need that big of a headlamp. So, actually, the one I bought now is actually a little bit too big, like too bright, but I'm happy with it. I, I mean, I do want bright, but I think I could have gotten away with it a little smaller and been okay with it, but it gives me the, the range that I need if I want to turn that into a, a spotlight, you know. But that's what I bought this for. This is going to be the spotlight, you know, and the daily carry kind of thing, you know. If we go for walks, we'll carry it. And plus, we just like to have flashlights on hand. We do have some other older older ones that still work. But we use those for power outages and stuff like that. This is not going to be for power outages, unless I have to walk around my yard, you know. But... Uh, if we're having a bad storm, and I need to walk around my property, see if there's any trees down, you know, this will work, you know. So, if you're in the market for a good flashlight, I would check out Police Security. They have a website. It's, uh, well, I think it's just policesecurity.com. Yeah, policesecurity.com. And, uh, yeah, but don't buy it on their website. I, I think you're going to end up paying more on their website than, than you really need to. I think you can get it cheaper, yeah, even at your local store, you know. I, I mean, again, depending. I mean, shop around. That's what you need to do. You need to shop around, you know, see where, where you can get a better deal. Just because it's cheaper... Just because, you know, I bought this cheaper at a store doesn't mean that it's junk, you know. It doesn't mean that it may just be, you know, that maybe that they're selling it for cheaper. Or, you know, maybe it's an older model. I don't know, but I, I, I didn't really see it. There's really no difference between this and what's on their website. It's the same thing. So, all I know is that this has been sitting on their shelf for a while. Um, I think they had, like, maybe two or three of these. Not very many. And, of course, nobody was buying them. But maybe nobody really needs a bright-ass flashlight either, you know. But, um, <laughs> I'd use it. I mean, I'm going to use it. I mean, if I was a cop, I don't know how bright flashlights are that cops get. But I think I'd just ditch theirs and just go get me one of these. And be like, hey, I'm just going to use this instead, you know. I don't know why cops are not using this. It gives them everything that they need. A bright ash light. Come on, we all need a bright ash light. You know, it has the I'm going to kill you light, you know. And it has the SOS. You know, so what more can you ask for? So, and there is another flashlight that I've seen out there. Um, it, might have, it was either a flashlight or a headlamp. But it was much smaller though. It had all the same options as this, but it had one extra one. And that's actually, I guess, to... It's good for hunters. It'll be good for hunters. It allows you to find blood trails. You know, like if you shot an animal in the leg and it's bleeding, and you want to track it, well, the best thing is obviously to find their blood trail. Well, that can get, you know, hard to find at night. You know, unless they're bleeding out really good and they're leaving a really good trail, you may not find them. So apparently that's supposed to have like a purple light on it or whatever. And it's supposed to allow you to find the blood trail and you can follow the blood trail. So, because they call it blood something. I can't remember, but you guys can go on their website and check it out. Um, 
if, if you're a hunter, maybe that's a good thing for you. And then I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we did have a hunter. Uh, this was during the day, though, so they wouldn't need it unless they were. Well, it's it's illegal to hunt here in Minnesota after dark. Once the sun goes down, you're, you're done. So, but I know it was before winter even. Well, it was fall, late fall. Um, there was a couple hunters that were hunting, and they shot a deer, and the guy missed a little bit, and I guess he hit it in the leg. So, of course, the deer ran ran into our property. So the lady called. Um, she actually owns the grocery store over there on North Dakota side, and she asked if her husband and her friends can go over and, and look for it because apparently, it, you know, it wandered over to our side of the property. So <clears throat> we told we told we went ahead and told them to go ahead and do that. You know, we didn't want a dead deer there. Because we don't, you know, there's no point of wasting a good deer. So, um, but we don't want dead deer there because then it just you know attracts more wild you know wildlife we don't want wolves and foxes and stuff around really all that much only because of the cows you know especially if we have calves which you know we're going to be getting close to that time of the year again we're and it might be another month or two yet though we're not going to be doing that until spring but you know we're going to have little cats running around here again you know and having a, a wolf coming around or, or a big herd of them yeah, not good so because if they smell that dead deer you know they're going to go for it and then they're going to wander on top of the dike and they're going all the damn cows so even though the cows will defend themselves and they're young yeah they can't really defend the herd unless it's a herd of deer you know a herd of cows but i imagine if there was some big crisis going on over there i imagine my uncle would go out he's got a you know a bb gun and stuff i'd rather get a real fucking rifle um, you know, and shoot those little bastards. So instead of a BB gun, but you need the license to own a you know an actual rifle. So, but yeah, if I was to buy a rifle for killing, you know, or protecting our animals, it's probably just going to be a Winchester. Um, something simple. You know, I don't need a 50 caliber sniper rifle. You know, and blow their asses apart. That'd be cool, but that's a little overkill because it'll just blow the damn animals right apart. Which, again, still good, but uh, the bullet would just go right through and go kill another animal. You know, might hit a cow. Whereas the Winchester won't do that. It's, it, it'll just hit the whatever, you know, the wolf, and that's the end of it. So, but yeah, I'm hoping to work on my gun license pretty soon and get that done over with. And then we can start defending our animals a little better. Of course, if we have a crisis, I imagine I'll probably just go out there with my wheeler and try to run them down. You know, fuck it. That's a thousand pounds right there coming to hit their ass. So it's not going to be fun to get around over by a wheeler, but it, 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 yeah, it'll kill them. So, and if it don't kill them, then I'll just cut their throat. It's not going to matter. But, but anyways, they're off topic, but whatever. But yeah, you, again, if you're, out, if you're out walking around and you're checking up on your cows at night and you don't have, you don't have a spotlight, you're using your headlights or a cheap ass flashlight right there that'll do it that'll that's definitely better than nothing it's better than a little baby <laughs> flashlight you know get yourself a man-sized flashlight you know the best part is led you know so super bright long range and just you know better than those fucking uh you know those halogen lights I don't even know if they're still making halogen flashlights. I imagine they are, but they're not that much anymore. I think everyone's going over to LEDs. Even for their small lights, they're going over to LED because they're better. You get longer runtime, better life. You know, the batteries last longer in them. And, you know, it, it just gives you a cleaner look, you know. Whereas a halogen gives you more of a, like a yellowish look, you know. You may not notice that, you know, if you're used to it, but if you put an LED next to that, you'll see the difference right then and there, you know, so. But anyways, if you're looking for a flashlight, I recommend this one. The 1800 lumen. Bright as hell. I think it's damn well worth it. Like I said, on the website, it was like $68 for shipping, you know. 
Um, and I got it at my local store for 50 So I saved like 10 bucks. 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Come on. So get yourself one of these. You know, if you need a bright ass flashlight. Unless there's something brighter out there that I'm not aware of. But if you guys know of anything brighter than this, let me know. Give me the link. I'll take a look. Brighter's better. But for carrying, I think I'm going to stick with this for now. So, but yeah, anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. Um, just let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I'll put the link to where you can buy these. I will put the link, you know, to their website. And you guys can take a look. And, uh, you know, you guys can just take a look. I guess I have a key over there. And, uh, yeah, so like I said, I'll put the links to all the stuff below. If I missed anything, I guess let me know. But other than that, I think I covered just about everything. And, uh, yeah. There you go. Get yourself one of those. I'm done fucking around buying cheap little fucking Chinese things, you know. It's, it's getting sickening, so. Chinese don't last. How long this crazy bastard will last, I don't know, but... I think it said how many hours they would last, and I, I think it's right around 100,000 hours, I would, I would imagine. Um, I imagine it says on their website, too. So, everything's on their website. Go take a look. You'll find it there. So, But, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy. Uh -huh.